Hi, welcome to eSpares, I'm Matt. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve on an LG washing machine. You'll know when the water inlet valve needs replacing on your washing machine when it doesn't fill up with water at all. Now, alongside this, you may notice that your machine is displaying the error codes IE or FE, inlet error or fill error. However, these codes could also indicate a problem with your pressure switch. If your machine is overfilling with water instead of not filling at all, then you'll need to replace the pressure switch. And you can find out how to do that by checking out our video here. Now, let's get started. The tools you'll need to carry out a water inlet valve replacement are a pair of pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and a towel. And remember, safety first, always make sure your appliance is switched off and unplugged from the mains before carrying out any work. The next thing we need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing the two Phillips head screws that hold it in place. With the two screws removed, you can push the top back lift up and put to one side. With the top off, here we can see the inlet valves. Now this one is a hot inlet valve, which normally isn't used in the UK as the machine is fitted with a heater. So this is the inlet valve we're gonna focus on. I need to remove this by undoing the two Phillips head screws that hold it in place. With the two screws removed, I now need to disconnect the two electrical connections. Now what I'm gonna do is take a photo of these connections so that I know where they fit on the new water inlet valve when I put it in. I can then remove them and lift out the valve. Now you'll need to disconnect the two hoses from the valve. At this point, you should lay a towel down inside the machine to catch any water that may come out of the hoses. And again, make sure you take note of where the hoses connect to the valve. As you can see, they crisscross from the soap dispenser to the valve. So they go into the opposite sides of the valves like this. This is important to remember when you fit the new valve. So again, take a photo if necessary. Then using a pair of pliers, I can pinch the Jubilee clips on the hoses and pull the hoses off the valve completely to free it. When replacing your water inlet valve on your washing machine, you're going to need your washing machine's model number. This will ensure that you're getting the correct valve for your particular washing machine. For help in finding the model number of your appliance, check out our video here. Now you can fit the hoses onto your new inlet valve using the photo for reference if necessary. And using your pliers, re-secure the Jubilee clips, making sure they're on firmly keeping the water inlet valve properly connected to the hoses. Next, fit the electrical connections to your water inlet valve using the photo for reference if necessary. With the electrical connections fitted to your new valve, you can fit your valve into the cabinet of the machine and refit the screws. With your new inlet valve fully in place, you can now replace the top of the appliance. Do remember to take the towel out before doing so. So there we have it, how to replace the water inlet valve on an LG washing machine. 
Now that your washing machine is up and running again, why not check out our video, Washing Machine Energy Saving Tips. There, you'll find out how to save energy and money whilst making the most from your machine. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more repair guides, handy appliance maintenance advice, and much, much more. Thanks for watching.